Hello guys, now in this video we are going to see what happens okay, if we try to change the temperature and the equilibrium itself okay so let's say right whenever you are talk or whenever a temperature is mentioned okay what you need to do first is identify what is your forward reaction so right now because of this negative sign here we know that our forward reaction is exothermic reaction and vice versa our reverse reaction is endothermic reaction so let's see what it means by it. It means that if I put in A and 2B here, okay, I will be producing C and D. Okay? I will be producing C and D. But the thing is, because it's the exothermic reaction, heat will be giving out. Okay? Because my forward reaction is negative so first thing that you need to write down when you are asked about temperature is whether your forward reaction is exothermic or endothermic okay so after that we figure it out let's see what happens when the temperature is increased so what i'm going to do now is I'm going to try to apply more heat here. So think about it in this way. If I increase the temperature, the entire system will respond by decreasing the temperature. And how is temperature decreased? Temperature is decreased by absorbing heat. So in this two watts, which watt reminds you of absorbing heat? It's endothermic reaction, okay? So, your backwards reaction will favor more, okay? So, what you should write is that increasing temperature, okay, will shift the equilibrium to the left side. And that is why more reactants A and B will form. Okay. So let's bring this example to another place. Okay. Alright, so in this reaction, what we can see here is delta H is positive, right? So meaning that my forward reaction is endothermic, meaning that I'm absorbing heat from the surroundings. Okay, so let's still try to do the same question. What happens when the temperature is, sorry, is increased? Okay, so when the temperature is increased, as usual, let's say my um, temperature, reaction temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Now, because I'm increasing it, it can be 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the entire reaction will respond by decreasing the temperature or reducing the temperature. So, reducing the temperature means what? It means endothermic or absorbing heat from the surroundings. That's why your forward reaction will favor. So, we can still use the same set of um, ans we can still use the same set of style for answering our information, okay? So, this time we can say that our forward reaction is endothermic now, increasing the temperature in this equation shifts the equilibrium to the right side or the forward reaction. And that is why instead of more reactants, more products C and D will form.
All right, so that's about it for temperature. Okay, so we can try to do some actual examples. Now, in this equation, try to answer the following question. So how I would approach this question is always looking at my delta H sign. Since it's negative sign here, I know that my forward reaction is exothermic and my backwards reaction is endothermic. Should we increase or decrease the temperature to produce as much NO as possible? So, to produce NO, I need it to be exothermic, okay? So, the forward reaction is of course the exothermic reaction, okay? So should I be increasing or decreasing the temperature? I should be decreasing the temperature of the reaction. And only then, the entire system will respond by increasing the heat, meaning that it is going to favor the exothermic. So this will be exothermic here, and equilibrium will shift to the right side. Okay? All right, so let's try to do this. Um, so there are two information that you need to remember. It's okay if you can only remember one, the other you can write it down on your own. Increasing the temperature will shift your equilibrium in the endothermic direction and decreasing temperature will shift it to the exothermic direction. So right now, for the first equation, should I increase or decrease my temperature to get product C? What, do, what should I do? I should look at my sign here, and since it is negative, my forward reaction is exo, my backwards reaction is an endothermic. So simply put, what do I need to do? I need to decrease the temperature, okay, for the exothermic reaction to favor, and more product C will form. So if my reaction is occurring at 100 degrees Celsius, I should reduce it to lower than 100 degrees Celsius. All right, so for the second equation, I want more of C, but first, what do I need to do? My delta H is positive, so my forward reaction is endothermic reaction, and my backwards reaction is exothermic, okay? So, from this, I need I need more C, right? So what do I need for happen? I need endothermic reaction to happen, how can I do it? By increasing the temperature. So, if I'm using 100 degrees Celsius, my temperature should be higher than 100 degrees Celsius. Okay? Oh, Alright. So, please try to do this question on your own and check back your answers. Okay. So, first things first, delta H is negative, so my forward reaction is exothermic reaction. And what do I need to favor? I want C, right? So what do I need to happen? I need exothermic reaction to happen. So exothermic reaction to happen, I need to decrease my temperature. So decreasing temperature shifts the equilibrium to the right side okay because what i want is on my right side and that is how more product c will form okay so to do this question my delta h is positive so my forward reaction is endo my backwards reaction is exo so to make more c i need endothermic reaction to happen so what do i write down first my forward reaction is actually endothermic reaction so for for my reaction to favor endothermic reaction i need to increase the temperature okay so increasing temperature will shift my equilibrium to where to the right side or forward reaction or product side you can write whatever and that is how more product C will form. Okay, so finally, this is the information chart that you must definitely, definitely remember. Okay, 
If you increase the pressure, it will go to the side with fewer gas molecules and vice versa. If you decrease the pressure, it will go to the side with more gas molecules. If you increase the temperature, it will shift to the side with endothermic reaction. If you decrease your temperature, it will go to the side with exothermic reaction. So try to remember this information in your head, okay? And, you, and all the questions will be very easier to you. So imagine, right? If you want, if your product is, let's say, A plus A reacts to give, let's say, B plus C. What do you need to do here? Do you increase the pressure or decrease the pressure if you want more A? If you want A, you increase the pressure because you want to go to the side of fewer gas molecules. Okay, so although I'm using A, B, C, in exams it will be methane or ammonia, whatever compound comes, but you're going to use the basic foundation knowledge you get from this video. Okay, last topic is catalyst. So adding a catalyst will only increase the rate of forward reaction and reverse reaction to the same extent. Okay, this is very important. Okay, so there is no change in the position of the equilibrium. Just because you're adding a catalyst, it doesn't really change whether your reaction is going to the left or the right. It only speeds up the rate of reaction by the same amount. To the same extent means same amount. Okay, in case you forget. And there is no change in position of the equilibrium. So you get one mark for answering this, one mark for saying same amount, one mark for saying that um, it will only increase the rate of reaction. Okay, so make sure that you are able to write down this property. Okay, all right. Thank you very much again, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.